Okay, let's bring in Fox News chief political correspondent and host of Special Report, Brett Baer, for some of his biggest moments of the night. And Brett, as Kristen talked about, we saw more of an ideological di divide, it seemed like, tonight than during the last round in Miami. Jenna, you're exactly right. Good evening. I think that this is exactly what the battle will be as you head into the caucuses and primary battles. This is the heart of the Democratic Party, the fight for where the party goes. And you saw that right at the stage, right at the beginning, once they got past the actual opening statements and the uh, the national anthem, you, you got to health care, and that was where you really saw Bernie Sanders and how much influence he's had on this party over the last, really, 10 years, but the last cycle. Take a listen. Two things. They will be better because Medicare for All is comprehensive. It covers all health care needs for senior citizens. It will finally include dental care hearing aids, and eyeglasses. But you don't know Second that. of all. You don't know that, Second Bernie. of all. We'll come to you in a second, I do know, and I wrote the damn bill. I wrote the damn bill. It wasn't long before the campaign already had bumper stickers out for Bernie Sanders. I wrote the damn bill. Uh, so they're trying to capitalize on that. Second one was the battle with the moderates, Shannon. And that is the foils here of uh, John Delaney and the newcomer to the debate stage, Governor Bullock from Montana. They fought back on health care and on immigration. I've been going around rural America, and I ask rural hospital administrators one question. If all your bills were paid at the Medicare rate last year, what would happen? And they all look at me and say, we would close. But the question is, why do we have to be so extreme? Why can't we just give everyone health care as a right and allow them to have choice? Thank I'm you, starting to think this is so, not about health care. This is thank an anti-private sector strategy. We're move a sane immigration system needs a sane leader. And we can do that without decriminalizing, providing health care for everyone. And it's not me saying that. That's Obama's Homeland Security no. Secretary. And Governor Bullock had a good initial inaugural run on the debate stage uh, and kind of introduced himself. John Delaney uh, searched a candidate on, on Google, and he uh, could make, again, a jump up. He needs to if he's going to get that third debate in September. Finally, the, the point I, I looked at was Elizabeth Warren. She had the most talking time of any candidate on the stage, and then she had this slapback of Delaney. Take a listen. So I think Democrats win when we run on real solutions, not impossible promises. When we run on things that are workable, not fairy tale economics. You know, I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. <laughs> I got a lot of applause and laughs in the in the hall. The last thing, Shannon, is Marianne Williamson. Remember in Miami, she had very little time on the stage, talking time, and yet we saw her numbers bump up in New Hampshire in particular. Mm -hmm. Today, tonight, she had a lot more time, Marianne Williamson did. She is now the number one searched candidate from this debate on Google, yep. and she is trending on Twitter. I would not be surprised to see Marianne Williamson, the author, who talks about love and fighting the dark forces, uh, get a bump tonight in the polls, perhaps mm -hmm. enough to get her to that third debate. Yeah, I think you're right. I wouldn't be surprised either. She garnered, it seems, some of the most reaction here on the ground tonight in Detroit. And that came often when she was calling out everybody else on the stage. I mean, she's one of the non-politicians, really the only one in this whole thing right now. And uh, she's been calling out the, uh, them out for, you know, the donations, the money they've taken, the hypocrisy they've had about these things. But I got to tell you, the audience here in Detroit really seemed to love her tonight. So we'll they see. They really did. And the last thing, Shannon, is that I think these candidates all got the fact that Democrats really care about most beating Donald Trump. Every one of the opening and closing statements had to do with beating yeah. Donald Trump. All of them said they could do it uh, in different ways. Well, we thank you for sticking around late for analysis for us tonight. Brett, thank you so much.